Oh, welcome back everybody to Grim's Solo World with me, the Grim Boss, here in Minecraft Bedrock Universe. So, I finished the bridge up to the Enchanter Room. You know, nothing fancy, just warped woods, some copper, some water, and of course sugar cane, because you need sugar cane for books. The next thing that I've built is a little fountain area, just to have like a little, I don't know, class details something eye catchy over here and i do have like a little soul sand in there to have some bubbles it's hard to see from the front but back here we have i gotta get some stairs and slabs up in here so i don't jump i've got my little smelter room uh i just started putting in everything i was smelting to keep it all nice and organized and i'll put um levers on all these so i can collect all the xp afterwards too so as i smell and stuff down i might do sand and glass in here not quite sure all right oops that close okay geez and then over here i made just a little little mud clay room uh where we can just harvest our clay let's get our non-silk touch so we can break the balls and get some I might put a furnace over here too so I can have um what you call it to make bricks and terracotta or I might just take that over to the furnace room not quite sure and you can see I just have little uh bricks right here mud bricks and then I got the dripstone dripping down so it becomes you know clay obviously um oh I wasn't saving any clay balls oops I guess I was only doing clay and then, you know, our infinite water source, we got just one water bottle to make mud. This one's full of dirt to make into mud. There we go. Nothing fancy over here. Let's do a little skip. All right. And then over here, I just got done finishing this little bridge. Nothing too fancy. And I made a super huge barn. I'm planning on moving all my animals over here that I have. And you can see I got a pig in there. And then I got a couple cows that while I was building this just decided to come over here. So I was like, oh, yep, we'll put them in here. And I just got a bee over here because I when I harvest the bee uh, nest or hive, I can never remember. He there was no bees in there. So I found a bee over in the birch forest over there that I've been slowly chopping down. And then I just got a couple chickens. I think there's eight chickens. There was originally 10, but two escaped somehow when they were growing up. and nothing much that way i can get the chickens out of the starter house and in there and then i just got room for all my saddles boop oops and then a little bedroom nothing fancy just a bed <laughs> and then i got this up here a little loft got some uh hay bales of course we're gonna get some more hay for decoration and then i might do another side loft up here not sure I just thought having at least half one would be kind of cool. I might have to put another pillar like right here down. That should be structurally supported. Not quite sure. So let's go ahead and move all the cows over here, except for maybe one or two. So I can always, uh, when the pillager raids spawn over here, I can always have milk available. But let's go ahead and go ahead and get a piece of wheat and replant and let's go ahead and do some silly okay let's break you down okay come on guys <laughs> there's so many cows i should have thinned the herd definitely should have thinned the herd this might be too many at least we don't have to go very far and the island's pretty much 100 percent safe come on guys we only got a couple blocks to go come on Oh, uh, well, this is going to be a lot easier once I get them over here. Because then we'll just make them jump in the chest and jump over the wall or fence. Hey, excuse guys, guys, we come on, silly cows. Anybody that's left behind is um going to meet the butcher man. All right, let's see. Can we just kind of cheese and go like this? Or they're OK, good. They are. One at a time. Yep. One at a time, guys. Good cows. Good, good cows. You know, I think this is a pretty decent start. 
Come on, come on, come on, guys. Okay, they're not very. They're th those aren't the very smart ones, are they? All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and thin the herds a little bit. Ooh, so sorry, so sorry. The butcher man. Yeah, good cow. Any other stragglers? Uh, oops, now that they got out, they might despawn, right? Oopsie. Oh, look at all those cows. Okay, uh, thin the herd, thin the herds. Come on, guys, get back in there. Did that go in there? Okay, sorry, guys. And then I set up a little, like I had the crimson one, or the uh, warped one over here. I set up a little crimson growing field, too. Sorry, well, we thinned the herds a little bit. Uh, oh, game's freezing, of course. Jeez, that took that long to place that uh, fence there. I uh, hope they really fix this bug soon. <laughs> All right, there we go. We got enough cows left over for any raid parties and i probably won't breed these guys up uh they'll just be for the milk and maybe i every time i harvest the wheat field i've been breeding them so but i would like to like i said that's gonna be the main animal pen and then over here i've been flattening this land down so i could extend the starter island out and eventually go all the way over there because I'm going to build a cabin in the woods back there around that little hill because there's a huge, nice water area that I thought would be cool for like a cabin in the woods. And then I'm going to start slowly chopping all this area down so I can start on a proper storage unit. And I might make an actual storage unit, but you can see I got some books in my hand. I would like to go waste some of these 96 levels while we can and enchant some books make sure we close this up we don't want any weird drowns coming through uh this one okay let's just i do like how they fixed the little enchanting bug where when you have a stack of books hello now instead of throwing them all it just takes one out of your inventory so let's see channeling boo protection mm. bah. boo flame wow what's up with all just one single enchant less protection four again Jeez. uh power wow i'm getting some horrible luck on enchanting today Knockback, let's see. Knockback, we'll put over there. Apparently, I just had to warm up, up <laughs> I guess. Let's see if we can get some uh, thorns and stuff, too, so we can upgrade our armor. I don't think I have everything I possibly can have. Da -da 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 -da. Respiration 3, not too bad. Okay, how many... How many can I use? Ooh, sharpness three. And like I said, I do keep them separate from uh, weapon. Ooh, efficiency four. Finally, there's something decent. <laughs> uh, weapons and armor. Ooh, I'm breaking three. Not too shabby. Uh, ooh, fortune three. Nice. Now we're getting the good enchants. Jeez. Sharpness. Oh, nice. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, that's great for a sword. <laughs> I'm breaking. Nice and loyal. Or uh, efficiency for. Oops. Okay, I just seen how many I had left real quick. Oh, because I backed out. Now it's going to give me crappy enchants again, right? <laughs> uh -huh. Aqua Affinity. Yeah, well, I'd rather have Aqua Affinity. Impaling. Hmm. I got. I guess I gotta get a riptide or a trident soon. Oh, I said riptide, and look what happens. All right, thirty-three levels. That is good enough. We only got one of you left, and let's go ahead and throw the books in there. And let's do this efficiency four book. Efficiency, efficiency four. 
This one is on Breaking 3. This one has both. Yep. And then Looting is the top one. No, Fortune. Okay. Fortune is this one. Okay. Fortune on Breaking Looting. Okay. I'm just going to throw all these books in here. All right. Since I only had Fire Protection 3 on my boots, I don't even have Unbreaking on there. Uh-oh. Well, let's go ahead and chant, get fire protection four. Let's go ahead and grab one of my... Oh, jeez, I should have just grabbed one of these. <laughs> oh, well. Next time I should look for ten. Jeez. Okay, now we got unbreaking on everything, right? Unbreaking, 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 and unbreaking. Fire protection, fire protection, protection, protection. All right. And then over here... I did uh, upgrade all my tools to netherite or netherite uh, because I have been doing a lot of bulk mining in the nether. So I'll just, uh, we got, let's go to sleep real quick. You can see up there we got our axe, we got our hoe, and we got our silky touch. So, and then I have a backup fortune just in case anything bad happens. I'll always have an extra one there. So that's pretty much all. I was going to try to find some horses today uh, to put in the barn. So maybe we can go exploring a little bit. Let's grab these last two saddles. Let's go on an adventure. I'm going to go to the dark oak little area over here to see if any horses spawn. If not, I'm going to go to do the bottom of, well, my X map that I used to have where the acacia is at because i know there's horses down there maybe i'll find a donkey so i'm gonna just do some time skips while the game freezes well i found like a little mini desert which is nice i could come over here get a bunch of sand for my glass and everything i haven't really came across a big desert or the badlands yet so this is a nice little find i guess i haven't fully this is like the dark oak forest. The little one is over there. I guess I've never came all the way over here. Hmm. Guess we'll do a little bit of exploring before nighttime. And then I'm just going to skip the night away. Hello, Mr. Cal. You're just going to despawn anyhow. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll do a little exploring if I come across a cat or a horse. Or a donkey. I will come back in. A lot of wolves over here, which is, I guess I do need to get some wolves going. You know what? Since I know what's down south, maybe I should go north. Because I don't think I've been. Oh, hi, sheep. I guess we could collect a couple more sheep and actually do like a sheep uh, farm as well. I am going to make like a redstone. Uh, contraption area for all the redstone farms or whatever. I've noticed a lot more pigs spawning nowadays, too. <gasps> Horsey! Well, gee, oh, and a baby horse. Uh, come here, horse. Oh, no, no, don't run away. Be my friend. Oh, he seems fast. He's got lots of hearts. Oh, he is fast. All right, get in the boat. Can I take your kid with you? Uh, Will he get in the boat or no? Get in the boat. Can I take two horses in a boat? No? Dang it. Okay. I can never remember. Oh, nope. All right, I'm going to take him. Oh, no, no. No, no, you stay in the boat, dude. I need to get the lead on the boat. I was going to say, I'm just going to take him back to the base. And I will we'll check back in. In a minute. Uh, this is going to be more difficult than I thought it was going to be. There we go. All right. I will see you guys <laughs> after I get him home. Ooh, no. Oh, wait. Is this where I just was at? I think I got turned around. Let's see if we can kidnap the baby horse. Okay. Come on, horsey. Is he going to follow us? Yeah, I did get turned around when I was trying to get in the boat. All right. Now I have thought, hey, why waste going all the way this far just with one horsey? So now I will 
See you guys in a second. All right, since I accidentally hit the horse to break him out of the boat. There we go. Good horsey. All right, he is fast. Uh, Jumping, not too bad. Here, we're going to put him in with the cows for now. And then we'll get it. We'll get the little guy in there uh, as soon as he grows up and I can breed them. Excuse me, dude. Get out of my way. <laughs> and OK, I don't know how long it takes for him to grow up like 10 more minutes. Let's check on the bee. I don't know if it produced anything yet. Nope. Uh, make sure. OK. And there we have it. So this episode is just all basically animal based <laughs> and all the quick buildings that I've made and little quick updates. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment if you would like to, and let me know what you think we should do in the next episode or two. Maybe we will go find a Badlands and just do an exploration episode or something else fun. Not quite sure. Uh, maybe, maybe we can find a stronghold or the ancient city. I think I've come pretty close to an ancient city. Um, way about, I think it was about a thousand blocks that way and about 500 blocks that way. I'll have to check. I did make a little tunnel, uh, going that way. So maybe we'll explore that in the next episode. All right. And again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. I truly greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks again. Bye-bye.